G'day there, welcome back to the race side. Great to be here for another delicious week of the Ahsoka show. Uh, I'm very excited for today. Uh, there's been lots of talk, hasn't there? Lots of talk. Um, and before we get, I get any further, I see some people wanting to talk about spoilers in the chat. If it's not like a rumor, thought, or just opinion, or like idea, try to, like, you can talk about those, but try not to do spoilers if you know for sure, 100% certain something's happening in this episode, please don't share it. But if you just got a random crazy idea, I would love to hear that. I'd love to hear that. Uh, but we're going to have a great show regardless. We're going to have a long one today. We've got an hour countdown. Speaking of, I should get the timer up. It's going. It's going. Uh, but we're, we're going to have a great time. I'm, I know we're going to have a great time. Let's get the timer on the screen because that was really helpful. It keeps me on track, mainly. Uh, it's more for me than it is for you, but it is also fun to see how long have we got to go. Uh, so let's get that up on screen. Then we'll be doing a bit of a ray, uh, a ray count. What do we, what do we call it? We called it a uh, ray, what a, ray call, a ray call. So who's here? Who the hell is here? Let's check it in. Who have we got? We got Brady. Br sorry, Bradley. How you doing? Brady, Jackery, Ward, Voligovsky. Oh my god. Skywalker's Academy, Tracer. Oh, Wolves is here. DB's here. Andrew's here. Angelina's back. Great to see you return. Dave, Zami, Lady Malfoy. Hello, Texas. It's the Lightning Slug. My two favorite weird names. Thomas, Timothy. Robert's here. Indy's here. Max is here. Sin City. What? Sin City, have were you here for us? With us last countdown? I don't remember. I feel like you miss it, Countdowns. Julie's here. Oh my god. All my favorites are here. Keith, Brooke. Oh, I love it. Da uh, even Darren's here. So great that you were here with me today. Almost 50 people in the chat. If you're joining along, make sure you do drop a like if you're enjoying the show. We're going to get into some great thoughts, theories, and discussion. Again, if you know spoilers, try not to share them. But if you've got some crazy ideas, I'd love to hear them. Um... Yeah, I thought you weren't here. I thought you weren't here, Sin City. So it's great to see you here. I love it. Apo, how you doing? What do you got? You got crazy idea. Give it to me. Give it to me. Actually, I like that. I like that look. If you've got a crazy idea for this episode, just type crazy idea, semicolon, and lay it on me. Then I know it's insane. Uh, but let's let's see it. Let's see it. What have we got, Apo? What if we built a roller coaster that looped through time? Allowing writers to experience the thrill of different historical eras simultaneously while munching on cotton candy clouds. I think that's a brilliant idea. Isn't that the war between worlds? <laughs> you know what? Actually, this idea reminds me of the, the India Indiana movie that just came out. <laughs> but I love it. That is a crazy idea, Abbo. I love it. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> it's random ass idea. CG coming in with the $2 readers to start off the show with the super sticker. Thank you. Thank you for the sport. It means a lot. Even two dollar reduce. Appreciate it. Anything cherries present as well. Roll call done. We need a. I need a white. Not a whiteboard. I need a. What are they bloody called? Che what are they called? The, the, like a, a board. What the hell? What? Clipboard. Clipboard. That's what the hell it is. Mike's here. CG can't wait for the next episode. Oh, it's gonna be good. I've got a good feeling. Good feeling in my veins about this. Hey. <clears throat> hey, Sublight. What do you mean, what? Oh, that's so fun. Is, yeah, who's playing Starfield? Anyone playing Starfield in the chat? I, I don't really venture too much outside of other video games, but uh, apparently it's cool. Apparently it's like Star Wars, but not Star Wars. Hey, JS, how you doing? Great to see you there. Hey, when's that um Friday night at Freddy's? Is there a movie? What's coming? I, I'm not following it. Is there like a movie? Is something coming out? How's that going for you? You're making great content. I can see it out there. <laughs> Crazy idea from Andrew here. Ray Skywalker is related to Merrick. Imagine. That's Ray's dad. Imagine. Clipboard. Clipboard. Thank you. I don't know why I blanked on that. Couldn't think of it. Crazy idea. So accidentally eats five month expired cheese. True story from today. Oh, are you are you gonna be okay? Are you alright? Five five month expired cheese then? Shouldn't that be moldy ass? Man, that's rough. That is rough. Hey, Rattle Shark, how you doing? Crazy idea at the end of the episode, Merrick. Uh, Merrick's mask comes off and you hear me. So back. You know, I'm down for this idea. Keller and Beck, it's got to be. It's got to be. 
I am not on Facebook to answer that question, Angelina. I am not. <laughs> it looks like a... <laughs> Imagine. I wish I wish you did too. I wish you knew me in person. October 27th is released that. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a movie, right? Amazing. Oh, that sounds... Oh, oh. Got a toe procedure done? Oh, that's not great. Oh, hope you're doing well. Keep it. Elevate it. Is that what you do? Elevate it. I think that, I think that's what you do. Speely can confirm Starfield is great. It looks pretty good. I saw some gameplay. It looks kind of fun. I'm hoping that that's what the um that other Star Wars game, which I'm blanking on. What the hell is that called? And um, <laughs> oh, gee. Outlaws. Outlaws. That's what I'm hoping Star Wars Outlaws is gonna be looking like. Oh man. Five months adds to the flavor of cheese, really? Really? We're going to get into some Ahsoka polls from the previous week. Uh, this was one of my favorite things we did last week before for the countdown, is we went through the polls of what everyone thought of the episode last week. Very interesting to see, so we'll talk about that very shortly. But let's get into another soupy, a $2-y do's from our favorite Julie. Who has the best styles content? You! <laughs> Hashtag Obi-Wan rocks. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Appreciate that. It's punch of encouragement. It's like spooked. You. Oh, psyched. Damn. Uh, hashtag everyone rocks. I, oh, it's never going to get old. Never going to get old. Who's the best? Who's the best Jedi? And then we both just say two different Jedi. Incredible. Incredible moment. Eric is Lux. That's the theory. That's the theory we're going with. Love it. <sighs> Crazy idea. Ahsoka and Marek. Put aside the differences. Get married. And the last four episodes is their honeymoon on Naboo. Padme cameo, she's back. Holy wow. Imagine. Imagine. And you know why they fall in love? Because Marek is actually Lux. That's why they fall in love. You know that's you, you know that's why. You know that's why. Can you that? <laughs> Josh walking from watching from work as usual. What if Ahsoka dies in this episode? And that's how she gets in. Uh, gets to the world between worlds. She doesn't die because she has Mortis daughter inside of her. I've seen this thrown around on social media a little bit. I'm not subscribing to this idea. It's a cool theory. It's a and it, you know the whole like how does she get into war between worlds? I think she finds the opening. I think something with this launch pad, whatever the Stonehenge looking magic night sister place that they're, they're near. I think that's probably gonna be the whole how they get to the galaxy and all that kind of thing. I, I, I don't know if we'll get too much into her dying to get there, but that would be pretty wild. I'm ready to eat my words in a shocking way. <laughs> Rest those weary dogs. <laughs> oh, I love it. John coming in with a question for everyone. For everyone, not just me. For everyone. Who's going to be the next Mandalore the Great? Jedi Mando? Oh. Sabine or Grogu? I think it's Sabine. I don't know. I can't see Grogu freaking leading the charge there. Cherry, I, I kind of agree with you here. I, I, I'm I like 50% certain Marek is just going to be just like some guy. Which I'm kind of down with. I'm kind of down with. Oh <gasps> Shit, did I? Oh no. Oh, that's actually really bad. Oh no. Man, I'm on something, I swear. Oh, that's horrible. People, people are. Oh, you got to see this. You got to. We got to get into this. Oh no! Oh no! Holy crap! There's 60 comments too. Oh my gosh! Oh man! I haven't checked my YouTube this morning. Oh my god! I'm realizing this as soon as I'm right now. Okay, okay. Let me screen share this. Oh, holy crap! That's horrible. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Holy crap! Oh, hang on. Let me put this on the screen. This is not good. We have a situation. We have a situation. How do we, how do we, how do we get this on the screen, damn it? Holy, oh my god. 90 people have voted. Okay, to be transparent, I schedule out these and I've scheduled it for the wrong day. So this was meant to be a question that's going to hit you guys tomorrow. Uh, but 90 of you somehow voted. Uh, 68% saying 10 out of 10. 10% saying 6 or less. That's interesting. 1% saying 7? That's hilarious. I This is mortifying. I'm so bad at my job, dude. Look at these, let's read these comments. 
<laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an amateur. <laughs> I'm an amateur. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, this is shocking. If you're just tuning in, I, I have accidentally asked what everyone thought of episode 4 today. 21 comments. <laughs> Rip Hera. That's really funny, actually. Town 10, 10, I feel it in my bones. Really enjoying the series. Race from the future. Terran's right. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so I even had to go check his Disney Plus. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. This is hilarious. Send me whatever you used to watch these early. <laughs> everyone's so shook. Oh, no. This is hilarious. This is so- this is shocking. I'm so shocking at this job. This is hilarious. <laughs> Rip error. Oh, yeah, who saw this? Who saw this? If you're in the chat right now, who saw this and thought, what am I on? Oh, man. I did. I must have. I must have. That's hilarious. I'm so sorry for all the confusion, everyone. <laughs> that is gonna go down as one of the most funniest mishaps that have happened. Anyway, while we're here, let's talk about a little bit about the polls of what's been going on uh, this week. Let's scroll back a little bit. Wow, I post a lot. Uh, did we talk about this? We'll go from here. I'm pretty sure this is from last week, right? So, 623 of you voted. What would you rate episode 3 of Ahsoka? Let's hear it. Uh, so, the, the highest rating being 41%, saying a 9 out of 10. Very strong. Like, think of the shows we've had in the past. That is a very strong majority. 41% saying 9 out of 10. Closely followed by a 20... Well, not closely. Fairly followed by 27% of you saying 8 out of 10. Then we've got a 19% uh, coming in with a 10 out of 10. My goodness. That is very high for a 10 out of 10. Let's just give that credit. And then uh, a, a mixture of about 13%, which is, again, a quite a low number. Uh, doing seven or six or less. My goodness, you guys loved that last episode, didn't you? Loved it. Connor voted at 10 out of 10. You should keep on doing before and after. I should, I absolutely should, actually. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that. The second sons. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be DB, right? It's got to be the best technical glitch I've ever had. That is hilarious. That is so embarrassing. So, so embarrassing. Okay, let's look at her. <laughs> Next poll. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, this was interesting. Oh, wow, a lot of votes in this one. 900. Sorry, I just started to interrupt. I could have plugged on the charger. God. Uh, who has been your favorite company protagonist of Ahsoka so far? Uh, which I did the main three. There's obviously some other characters in the show, but uh, from these three. What have we got? 900. Over 900 of you voted. 62% saying Huang, uh, which I would agree. He's he's like such a great, I think he's such a great comedic character in Star Wars that they've done very, very well. Um, and his, his dynamic and like kind of chemistry with the Soka is hilarious and it's just so good. 27% uh, then saying Sabine. 11% saying Hera. Amazing. That's still a lot of people. Loving both Sabine and Hera there as well. 23 comments. What have you guys got to say? People have to say some stuff about this. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do people have to say about this? Natasha is the breakout star. I would agree Natasha is so wonderful in this. She does Sabine so well. Huang from the, from the Clone Wars. Absolutely. Apo coming in there. He is saying uh, Huang is the goat. I think you just said that in the chat. Uh, Second Sons, still Hera. I love that. Fantastic. Really loving Sabine. She had a rocky introduction the first episode, in my opinion, but they're really doing a great job with her after that. I would agree with that. I think she could have been probably better um, maybe portrayed in the first episode. <laughs> Shin Hotty. I did correct this person. So sorry, James. Because uh, I was like, dude, she ain't a protagonist. She ain't a protagonist. She might be. Imagine that. Imagine if she turns, eh? Imagine that. Huang is good. Yeah, you're really, you're really committing to that. Oh, do you? We're, we're on the, hang on, let me go back. <clears throat> what is this? I can't, I can't believe I posted that. That is so embarrassing. Holy crap. 
It was so amazing, Freddy Fazbear collabed with us. Okay. Uh, that's the bear from FNAF, right? Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. I, I just, I'm not going to live that down. That's shocking. That is shocking. Um, so that was the who people liked. Who were people loving from the from the show already? Ooh, dropping in frames a little bit. We're back. We're back in business. Her has the boss best costume pants. Kind of agree. Kind of agree. Canon event. Yeah, that's true. That's that's my uh, that's my canon event. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm critical when it when I want to be critical. When I, when when there's critiques to make, I make them. But you know, it's fictional, so I feel like people get too stressed about Star Wars. All right, let's check. Take a look at the next poll we have. Uh, 582 of you voting. You want to be a part of these polls, dude. When well, you see them throughout the week, these these come up in the discussion. So make sure you are engaging. If, you, if these are popping up on your YouTube feed, make sure you're voting, commenting, expanding your thoughts if you have more on whatever the question is. Uh, this is a really great one. We might, might spend a minute talking about this. Is What is your favorite scene from Ahsoka Episode 3? Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. Hey? Let's zoom in a little bit here. Beautiful. Beautiful, hey? Um, right? That, that meme, hey? Uh, what was your favorite scene from Ahsoka Episode 3? Let's talk about it. There's uh, five scenes I did here, which I kind of just, I felt like that was the natural place to break them all up. But, uh, what's the highest one? 30%. 30%. It's pretty even, actually, this one. 30% saying the aerial battle with Sabine and uh, Ahsoka working together. Pretty dope scene. Pretty great action piece. Uh, flying, shooting, Sabine, like, rewiring the ship, Ahsoka, like, on the ship's... Well, actually, that was a separate scene. And that's probably... That's close. That is very... Excuse me. They're very close to the last two scenes here. The Ahsoka on the ship's wing in the spacesuit and the purple appearance of the planet's atmosphere. They're kind of almost tied for second favorite scene, which is really interesting. I, to be honest, I'm, I'm surprised so many of you said the Purgles, really. Like, I'm amazed. I was like, oh, yeah, the Purgles. That's like, that was awesome to see. But I don't know. What's my favorite scene? I don't know. Uh, coming up next was the Ahsoka and Sabine training scene, which uh, it shocks me of how low that is on the scale because I'm like, this is like the greatest scene to ever like exist in Star Wars. I like loved it. Uh, that would be my pick, 100%. Uh, and only 8%, still a fair amount of you saying Hera speaks to Mon Mothma and Council, plus Jason Reveal. Uh, I thought this was a fantastically done scene. It speaks into the New Republic a little bit. Talks about, obviously, we get the Jason, like, just the fact that we get the Jason Reveal. I really like this. I really like that scene. Uh, but not as much as you. We got, we're got dropping in frames. How we looking? How we looking? <laughs> That's the question we've all been asking. Where the hell is AP5? Where is he? Where is he? Let's move out the screen a little bit here. Oh, we're coming back up. We're coming back up in pixels. Are we more than three pixels now? Are we more than three pixels? We're back in business. We're back in business, baby. And he has the best shirts. Imagine the combo, Sin City. Imagine that combo. With you there. This is so funny. Area battle straight out of the OT. It did feel like that. Tig? Is that how you pronounce your name? Tig? 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 Cool name. Cool name, dude. Max, I listen to a lot of metal. I just missed the Mastodon, uh, Gojira, and Lorna Shaw in content because of school. I don't know who those are. Are they bands or singers? But that's that's is devastating. Graw and Graw G War or Graw? What that? What is that name? That's hilarious. But that's sad to hear, Max. Wild Dreams agreeing with me. Loving the training scene from Ahsoka F three. Crazy idea. Marek is a robot. Imagine, imagine. Thanks, Lightning. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, friend. How can you not be excited? I like the area of battle, said Wolvesy. Yeah, I, it, it was it was a well conducted scene. I do actually upon discussion of this with my two brothers, I do think this is going to be a bit of a hot take because I really did love this scene. I'm just going to turn the music down on just a little touch. The the aerial scene I felt like could have been maybe like 
four, like three or four cuts shorter. I feel like it could have just been a few more cuts shorter and gotten maybe to the whole Ahsoka on the wing thing. That could have been a little longer for me. Oh, incredible. Ten for today. Oh, my God. Sin City coming in clutch as always. Never lets us down. Generosity is overflowing. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that. And Chicken Texas celebrating six months. Uncle Hollow is the emperor of the new galaxy. Imagine. That's how we could get cereal, freaking cereal man, like a job anywhere. Because he's the emperor of the new galaxy. Oh. Also, actually, it's, it's, now that I'm turned around, check out the, you, like, you, I have the Rex shirt on. You see the back of it? You guys like it? It's actually a really soft shirt. It's like my favorite shirt to wear. Uh, Julie's got a question in. Sorry, let's go. Let's go back to timer town. Let's go back to the timer. Uh, let's let's talk some questions. Let's talk some questions, eh? Uh, I see a lot of chatter on social media. That Ahsoka just doesn't have much personality. Thoughts? I do have thoughts on this. I do have thoughts. I'm ready to tackle someone about this. Um, she does have personality. She has a lot of personality. She she has. It's not extroverted and like super like yay. Let's save the world together. Yay! Like it's not super happy personality, but like. Rightfully so, and I think I touched on this a little while ago. Maybe maybe last episode, uh, discussion or whatever. But I, I want to expand on it more, because I've been thinking about that. Because I've been seeing this too, Julie. Just, just think of the trauma she's been through. She's grown up in the Jedi Order, which is already, like, intense. Her master, her closest confidant, her, like, everything in Anakin. Her older brother, her, her who she looks up to. Like, obviously, she made that really hard decision to leave him and leave the Order. But then also, she's gone through this traumatic experience of, like, living without the Jedi. Like, everything collapses. The the Emperor is ruling. And then she discovers that Anakin is Darth Vader and is this, like, horrible person. Like, she has been through horrible things. Like, P Master Plo is dead at this point. Uh, well, has been for a while. Uh, Padme dies. We see that scene in Tales of the Jedi. Like, she goes through a horrible experience in her life. Like, for years. She's not going to be super happy chappy. Um, I think I think her personality is very uh, solemn. It's very conservative at this point. She's really hesitant to do things and make decisions. I think that's fair. I think that's totally reflective of where she's at mentally. Because, like, it would be weird if she would be super, like... Let's go! Yay! Because, uh, you know, when you go through all that, you can't you can't be super happy. I mean, think of it, like, in real life. You know, if you go through, like, horrible things, you lose people you love, you're not just like, everything's fun. So, I put that down to, I think she's come to a really solemn place in her understanding of the Force and her her reason of being in the galaxy. It's my little, it's my little rant for the day. <laughs> Hey, Rebecca, how you doing? Quick question. Do you think Marek is... Uh, who do you think Marek is uh, if they are not a random person? Um, if it's... It, it's gonna be... I don't know. I'm like pretty certain it's gonna be someone random. It could be like a Starkiller variant. Could be a Lux Monteri. I don't think it's Ezra. I've thought about that. I don't think it is gonna be Ezra. Um, I think it's gonna be some sort of Inquisitor. I'm, I'm, I'm betting that it is actually gonna be someone random. I'm not certain why the acting direction is to be wooden and move slowly. Ah, well, actually, that ties into a little bit of my just big rant just then. Uh, I th I think you know Sabine has some really great um, characterization. Well, they both they both have good char characterization, but Sabine has a lot more color to her. Um, she's a bit younger and a bit more like kind of sprouty. Um, sp sprouty is that the word? You know when they kind of have a bit of spring to them. Where Ahsoka's like, dude, she's gone through it. She's like. It's not. She's not struggling. She's not struggling. She's just solemn. She should be solemn. I want to see more Balin. Balin. Uh, the first bit of episode one was perfect. How how dope was that? How dope was that? Thank you, Pharaoh. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. Hey, Nicole. Great to see you back. Good day. Good day, Duck Jedi. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm so behind in the chat. Yeah, you guys like my shirt? <laughs> 
Oh, what'd you get? Uh, yeah, so I got this shirt from, um, what's it called? Only Hope Supply. Only Hope Supply. Just look it up. They do like apparel, like, and they're all kind of themed like this, where they have like a cool emblem and they have it on the back. Uh, they do a bunch of characters, Rebels, Clone Wars, Original Trilogy, like just bunch. Uh, they also do like all the rings and Marvel. Not sponsored. I hope they can sponsor me, but not sponsored, but they're great. They're really cool. They're like genuinely very good um, merch. Really like it. <laughs> she already started opening back up by the end of episode three. Yeah, it's true. Good point. Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. As in my reply to Julie's question, I think her personality is just great and right in line with the older Jedi. Yeah, I think so too. Like she, she, she is very much like this Jedi in spirit. I think she's the right kind of Jedi spirit to have. She really, uh, you know, leans into the emotions, but also she's very stable. She, she isn't overly emotional. Oh, this is so well said, Sin City. Right in line, so this is a Ahsoka's personality we're still talking about. Uh, right in line with someone uh, as they age, get some life experience, suffer loss, and see the world far differently than a youthful optimism. Absolutely, I think so. I think so. FSD, I don't think this episode will be too crazy. How far are we behind on the chat? Only two minutes, that's okay. I reckon it'll be like the last episode in the sense it will build to the story because we all know in episode five is where the juice is at. You know what? You've got a fair point here. I think everyone's kind of freaking out about this episode. But you might be right that I think this will have some cool action. But yeah, I don't know too much else. I'm I would be okay if we get 40 minutes of like lightsaber jewels and like running around the forest. I'm just saying that now. If like nothing really progresses and it's just cool action, I'm kind of down with that. I'm vibing. I'm vibing with that. Hit me. Hit me, Apo. You can just type it. <laughs> Do I need to put a banner down the bottom being like, just type what you think? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Steve coming in with he's got a race squad membership. I'm assuming from Sin City. I'm assuming that one's from Sin City. What makes me uh, like Ahsoka so much in Rebels is that she still has a sense of warmth and kindness, even after all the trauma she's gone through. I'd like to see her gain that back in the series. I don't think she's lost it so much. I definitely think, like, who, who mentioned it just before? Is that she kind of, was a Steely? What's his, is that your name? Steely? Um, she kind of shows that at the end of the last episode, I thought. She kind of has that, she has that warmth. She has, she's kind of expressing a bit of, um... You know, she, she realizes she can't be so strict on Sabine and she goes, hey, Sabine, what do you need? I, I love that piece of dialogue. That was a great little insight into her Ahsoka understanding that she needs to be more empathetic to Sabine. Great little bit of writing. I really enjoyed that. So I don't think it's necessarily gone, but I can understand that maybe some fans that written like um, like yourself, Suleiman, um, I think warmed the fact of her kindness in Rebels and, and her representation in Rebels. So I kind of get that. I get that. Make sure you drop a like if you're just entering. Hope you're enjoying the show. Writing quests. Great to see you here. I think this episode will end on a crazy cliffhanger. That could definitely happen. That could definitely happen. Today's episode is 42 minutes and directed by Peter Ramsey. And if you were there for my live show discussing all the directors for this show, they're all very skilled and very, very interesting directors. And I think great choices. I think the six. What was it? Six? I think it's six. Yeah, there's... there's, there's I can't name them, to be honest. There was Steph Green, Peter Ramsey, Dave Filoni. Uh, there's the other ones. The other ones. I forget their names. I feel so bad. Uh, but uh, Peter Ramsey is a pretty good um, pretty good director. He directed the episode of Mando Season 3. Uh, that was the one with... On Navarro. The, like, the action piece. Which makes sense. If this is going to be like an action full episode. He did that really action episode of Season 3. Of Mando, so I can see that. I can see why maybe they got him in for this one. Every Jedi we ever see has a stoic look, hands on sleeve, ha hands in sleeves, and very deliberate speech and movement. Why is Rosario being trashed for literally playing it, uh, playing it like everyone else we've ever seen? Wow, that I have never agreed with something so much than <laughs> than what you've just said to you, Sin. Absolutely, I, I think like Obi Wan's very much like that. Like in Episode Three, he's, he's really. He's really, like, calm, he's centered, he speaks slowly and clearly. Like, if you think, compare him to uh, in Phantom Menace, he's kind of a bit more, oh, you know, what do we do, Master? A bit more flippant. He's kind of, we can't, 
do this, we can do this. He's a bit more kind of jittery. Where by the time we get into Revenge of the Sith, he's a lot more like slow and thoughtful. Um, and Ahsoka's just like this. That's a great point. Man, I'm, I want to tweet that later. That's a great point. Exactly, yeah. And look at his, yeah, Peter Ramsey's the genius between, 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 behind Into the Spider-Verse. So that's very exciting. Yeah, isn't that great? Wasn't that a great line? It's the pacing for me. Tends to set the energy out of the scenes for me sometimes. All the ingredients are there, except for that. Needs a touch of zazz. Oh, that's a cool word. A touch of zazz. Uh, just a bit tighter on cuts and timing. Yeah, and I definitely find pacing is very subjective. Like some people, uh, you know, like Andor, like people like loved the slowness of Andor. Other people like really didn't love the slowness of Andor. So I, I think pacing is one of those things is it definitely like depends a lot of a lot on people's expectations, what they're wanting from the show. So, but I, I, I can read that. I can, I can appreciate that. You, you're not vibing with the pacing. Fair enough. Fair enough. You guys, because you see so much of the better sides than I do sometimes. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. I love that. That's true. We try to be, we try to be positive, but not in a terrible way. You know, you don't want to be overly positive. Uh, hey, Joey. Happy Ahsoka Day. Indy. I also agree. Give an F5. It's directed by Filoni Plus. What's releasing on Friday too. Okay, someone talk to me about this. Again, I haven't, I've been busy. I've been a busy lady. I haven't checked the socials or whatever the hell this morning. Except for retweeting Kevin Kiner's tweet. Um, I saw something about this. We're getting a little something on Friday, which is my Saturday, but your Friday. What are we getting? Is that, it's not an episode. Is it just like a scene? Are we getting like a cut scene or something? I don't know. I don't know. I, we're not talking about that enough. Rex needs to show up, right? Rex has got to show up. It's got to be insane. It's got to. It's got to. Another earlier comment about Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, etc. Yeah, was I kind of touching on what you were maybe saying? I, I I don't remember seeing that comment, but was it on that thing? I was like, well, they got, like, more solemn as they got older. He did. He did indeed. How'd you go here? So I don't know if you or the comments have said already, but how long to the episode releases? That. That amount of time. That's the time. I feel like we're on a journey of recovery with Soka. She's pulled back from her people and from showing emotions, but we do see her show more with Hera. Who she doesn't feel responsible for. That's a good point. That is a very good point. I like the way you've, you've said that very eloquently. I would agree with that. A touch of Zeb too. What are we referencing here? But I love it. We should see Zeb. We should be seeing Zeb. I love it. I'm still, I'm a couple of steps behind the chat. See, like people like love and or pacing or don't love it. It's, it's very subjective. It's, it's tricky. Uh, travelers, do I think Din and uh, Din Grogu will show up in the show? I don't think so. There's a small chance they could. I don't think they would fit. I think that's just going to be my personal opinion. I think they wouldn't fit for the vibe of the show. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a cop out to be like, oh, it's not the vibe. But I just doesn't feel like the vibe, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Uh, last episode, I would say, Rebecca. I think, definitely. I think, um, episode one and two, I probably, I, what did I give that? Like, an eight out of ten? But last episode, I'd probably give it nine, nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> gonna be watching this with my parents, then gonna join after the party. Rayside, um, amazing. Amazing second sons. That's okay. I love it when you guys go off and watch it with your family. It's so nice. Uh, and yeah, make sure we're doing something a little different. Me and the race squad talk during the week. We're going to be doing something different. Usually we have a separate show for the post show. But we're actually going to be having it in this same live stream. In this same live stream. So if you don't want to watch it along with us, uh, we do do the watch party here. We have the time run. We tr we press play at the same time. We watch it all together. Uh, but if you don't want to do this, do that. You can watch it. Go away and watch it and come back and we'll still be talking about it. So we're not, going, we're not having like a separate stream after the show. It's going to be in this stream. That's upon discussion with the race squad we have decided that <laughs> i don't think luke will show up to be honest i don't know maybe america is the eighth brother who is zeb what do you mean who is zeb what what do you mean 
What do you mean? Yes, Hannah. It was stolen. Reserve. Yeah, yeah. So we're saying the same thing. Is the roles changed from Padawan to Master? Padawan is ready for action. Feeling held back and Master see bigger picture and lose that youthful gusto. Exactly. And actually just, you know, going back to what you were even saying earlier, like that it's a very real life thing. You kind of you have experiences, you learn things, you become more, you know, less risk taking, maybe. Less um Yeah, less less risky, maybe. Maybe that's a bit more of a, a bit more of an explanation for it. Oh yeah. Okay. So what's the Friday special? What 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 in the world is this? Friday is a special called Master and Apprentice that focuses on Anakin and Ahsoka. I'm assuming it'll be similar to Marvel Legends, which showcases a character before the next show. That is fascinating. So we got to assume Anakin's in the next episode, right? Because if they're doing that, that's very much to like make sure like everybody knows that. By the way, this is Anakin's. Padawan. I'm sure there's some percentage of people that are watching Ahsoka. It would be a very small percentage, but uh, watching Ahsoka not realizing it was Anakin's Padawan. Oh my god! The Bone Bridger! Get out of town! Get out of town! Get out, get out of here! Coming in with the $50-y dues! Oh my god, what a soupy today! What a delicious pot of goodness. That could... I could buy... I, what can I buy with 50 bucks right now? I could buy the Lego set, actually. <laughs> but thank you so much for the $50-y dudes. Bone Bridger coming in with a generous heart today. There are many sides of wrong sides. But the only side... The only one Ray side... Oh, I love it. The best love YouTube creator... On any content, yeah, continent, not content, continent. You're making a big call. It. It's a big judgment. It's a big statement. No, no take backs. <laughs> oh, dude, thank you so much for your generosity. It means a lot. Uh, that completely supports what I'm doing here. It makes me able to have all this time and spend time with you guys. So that means a lot. I really thank you for that. That's incredibly generous of you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you live in the dream. I miss that accent. What state are you from again? It's a great accent, Bone Bridger. <laughs> a great accent, man. But thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. It's very, very encouraging of you to say. Appreciate that, man. Dave, we trust. John's here. Great to see you back, friend. Big donor. Yeah, dubs in the chat for Bone Bridger. Incredible. <laughs> Enough by Starfield. There you go. Half a tank of gas. <laughs> I love how we're comparing it. <laughs> we're so... What's wrong with us? We're like, what can we buy? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I think you're right about the vibe. They probably would uh, only put Grogu and Din uh, if they didn't have faith in the show like they did with Book of Boba Fett. I agree. This show is fantastic. Yeah, it definitely holds its own. Definitely holds its own. The gunship? Yeah, for sure. I like the gunship. Bone Bridger equals gold 43. You think it's gold 43? <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Oh, I love it. I love it. I don't even feel like a grumpy old man. If Ahsoka is 47 in this show, uh, Hannah has gone through everything she has, I would be as stoic and eye rolly as her. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, everything's gone to shit. The Jedi Order like, hasn't existed for like, tw like nine, 29 years? You know, like, everyone you love is, like, dead or gone. Like, you're not going to be super, like, jovial. You know what I mean? You're not going to be like, G'day there, welcome to the Ahsoka show. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. It's nuts. It's nuts. But in all seriousness, I have no idea if Shin survives the series. I hope she does. I find her very interesting. Yeah, me too. I think, and it is very incredibly sad about Ray Stevenson. Bailen Skull, you know, I could see a total show with them two, or just those characters popping up again. And uh, but you know, I think Shin here is again very fan favorite character, very interesting character. People are liking her. I think she's very like hard to read. One of the best things about Star Wars is when there's mystery. I think that was you know a lot of the we, again we mentioned this before actually in a previous discussion. The attraction of Yoda is because a lot of people like were like, what the hell is that? Like who is that? But that we we un we get to learn a enough about them that we like connect with them and be like okay this is what the character is but then we don't know enough to be like we know them you know what I mean so 
we understood Yoda was this old wise master. He's lived 900 years. He used to train all the Jedi. We got all this information in Empire Strikes Back. Um, and, and also Return. And we got to learn about him. But then we didn't really, really know anything about him. So it's this mysterious thing. Same thing with the Shin. We're, we're getting, we understand, okay, she's this type of force user. She believes in this. She, she kind of is acting in this way. But we don't actually know what she's thinking and what her prerogative is. It's the mystery. Hooks us in. Hooks us in. <laughs> Near legendary Virgo. I think there's a lot more to, of Balin to unpack. Yeah, I think so too. I I would love to see them and Tales of the Jedi, to be honest. I hope we get more of his backstory. 100%. I back that. Pun intended. Every time a stranger on the bus has told me to smile. Oh, gee, I hate that. I hate that. Whatever. Like, whoever you are. And at any point, if a stranger asks you to smile, like, just, like, stop. It's like, it's like saying, <laughs> like, hey, you're right there. Can you do a backflip? And just like waiting for them to. It's like what, what? Are you talking to, dude? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, do a backflip right now. I do a backflip. Like, why do you need everyone to like calm down? I hate that too. I hate that too. I vibe with that. <laughs> Master Yava in the chat as well. I love it. How you doing, Yava? We got fourteen minutes remaining. Fourteen minutes. I don't think Shin is totally evil. There is something about her that I feel uh, she'll turn to the light side. I feel that with Balin. To be honest, I I have the vibe that Balin's going to turn light and Shin's going to turn bad. Like, extra bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> nearly, nearly joked my life away on a biscuit two minutes ago, but we're alive and ready for four. What a, what a traumatic experience. <laughs> Do you mean joked or choked? That's that's horrible, but I'm glad you're with us. I'm glad you're with us, Edgy. Love ya. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Goldman in the chat. Oh my god. We've, we've got some legends in here today. Let me just say that. Uh, I hope Marek is no one. Just some random dude. I think that will be the case. And I kind of, I'm with you. I'm like, even to, enough to say like, I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping for that. I'm, I'm with you there. Got some, lots of hellos in the chat. I love it. Oh, it was a good time. I had you. I, yeah, I had you on while um, I was doing some work, so I couldn't. I couldn't chat too much, but uh, I loved having you. It was. It was kind of satisfying. Just having a plan. It's fun. It's kind of fun. People at work tell me to smile, and I say, "What looks stupid walking around green like a?" <laughs> I'm not going to say that word. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, everyone uh, would think you were insane. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> But my, my, my girlfriend does it all the time, which she smiles. She's, it's probably a nice thing, actually, but she smiles all the time. And it would, it would just be like chilling at home. And she's just like walking around smiling. And I literally go, what are you, why are you smiling? <laughs> What's happening? Like, nothing's happening right now. You're just smiling. She's like, nah. I'm like, what are you doing? So I kind of get that. It's like, why are you smiling 24 7? Maybe we're cynical. Maybe we're just cynical people, Sin City. We just like hate smiling. I don't know. I don't know. Goldman, have you noticed that all the trailers appear to have only shown footage from the first four episodes? I have no clue what to accept, expect from uh, the last four. Yes, I love that fact too. I love that this is a thing. I love that that's like how it is. You know what I mean? So it's cool. I like I like going in blind and like pretty much from the premiere, I've stopped watching like the little trailer snippets because they're very purposeful with their little trailers. So I've like stopped watching them. Um, because I like going in blind. I mean, I'm enjoying that they've done that, actually, to be honest. Yeah, I thought that. I was like, Are you die? Did you die? I also hope it's some random dude. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point, Sin. <laughs> saying it was Maul or Brother. Saying it was the Chosen One in the Temple. Oh, yeah, I saw a clip of someone clipping that. That was, that was interesting. Yeah, wow, I'm surprised we're all agreeing that it's, we hoping it's no one. I love it. I love it. Aww. <laughs> that's nice, Sim. <laughs> oh, that is, that's nice. That's nice. Two dollar news from Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. What's that song? That's, it's not Johnny Boy. It's, um, Danny Boy. Sorry, I got that wrong. <laughs> but thank you for the two dollar news, John. Appreciate your support and donut. Thank you, friend. I discovered your channel just last Tuesday. Ooh, I like the time. I like the specific time. Last Tuesday. 
I love it. Had a good time tuning in after F3 last week. And I'm looking forward to tuning in again after tonight's F. Good job, Bray. I'm a fan. Thank you so much, Lee. I appreciate that encouragement, man. Man, wow. You guys are super nice today. Something in the water. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and we're going to be doing something differently. I mentioned this just before, but we're going to have... It's not going to be a separate stream. It's going to continue in this stream. So when the episode finishes, it's just going to be this stream. It's not It's not too different. It's just this one. we come back for it. We're going to have a debrief. I'm going to... Yeah, does anyone feel that? Does anyone feel that we're going to have to need a big debrief after the end of today? You know? I just feel it in my bones. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Rest, resting jerk face. So the classic RJF. Classic. He's a faceless man. Imagine that. Imagine that if he takes off his helmet and he's like, you know when you have... Um, Maybe I have an example of this. Hang on. Maybe I don't. Don't worry. Uh, but it's like those Lego figures of like a stormtrooper. Instead of having like a face on the inside of the helmet, it's literally like a just like a a, a single colored Lego head. Um, it's like that. He just has no face. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. There will be carnage tonight. That's, carnage is a very, like, this is a compliment, but it's like a, such like a man word, you know what I mean? Carnage. There's gonna be carnage tonight. I, I can't do it low enough, but it sounds like, um, something like, I don't know, like a Transformer would say, or like a Power Ranger would say, there, there'll be carnage tonight. <laughs> great word, great word, great descriptive. Marius <laughs> George Lucas, yeah, that's, <laughs> like, like how, um, freaking. Peter Jackson shows up in Lord of the Rings as like these little cameos here and there. Uh, <laughs> George Lucas is married. <laughs> oh, incredible. It'll be so good. It'll be so good. All right. We've got, we are within, we are within 10 minutes. So I'm going to go grab an extra drink. I'm going to go to do stuff really quickly for one minute. So go grab your snacks. Go grab a drink. We're going to settle in We're within eight minutes, less than nine minutes now. Go grab something. Settle in. We're going to set up. So, again, we're, we're doing a watch party here if you haven't done this before. Uh, we put I put the timer of when we start the episode together in the top corner. So, make sure you got you get your setup. I don't know. What, what, how do you do it? TV, phone, laptop, both screens, one screen. I don't know. Set it up. Go grab a drink. We'll be settling in for the watch party real soon. I'll be right back. We are back, baby! Six and a half minutes to go! Who's ready? Who's ready? <sighs> Alright, we'll catch you after Indy. Appreciate you. Can't wait to debrief. Debrief. No, brother. It's so soon. Snack time. 
Blinkers? How many blinkers have we gotten for tonight? Is that, is that like, what does that mean? Are those drinks? What's a blinker? Gotta walk my dog before showtime. Oh, dude, go now, man. <laughs> Hurry back. <laughs> oh, amazing. 40 plus minutes, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, also, new series starting on the channel. If you know why I'm holding this up, you're a, you're a true one. I have started a book review series here on the channel, reviewing Star Wars books, giving you kind, kind of spoiler-free, fairly spoiler-free reviews of books I think you should be reading. Or I might hate it and say don't read it. Uh, but this was the very first review in the series, Star Wars Throne, which is the kind of drawn book by Timothy Zahn. If you are interested in this book, if you have already read it and have views on it, make sure you go check out the video. It's on the channel right now. That'll be coming weekly. Book reviews every single week. Right to you. Straight to you. And I want to know your thoughts down below. Putting some respect on the name of Star Wars books. Because they're pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. But uh, I'm very open to suggestions as well. So if you want if you want me to re uh, review, read uh, a certain Star Wars book, make sure you let me know as well. Put, put it probably in the video. Not here. I won't remember if you tell me right now. Uh, yeah, true. Thanks. You're doing such a great job as being a master and, and encouraging me, Sincity. Thanks, man. <laughs> I just bought the book last night after, you, after you, uh, your review. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's really, really good. Because I kind of, what the review, I was trying to explain, you know, it's one thing for someone to be just like, it's good, read it. So I tried to explain, like, why you would want to read it. So I'm, I'm glad you got to look into it, Julie. I hope you enjoy it. Laws here, right in the final four minutes. My goodness. Amazing. I know, I know. And you know I love you, even though I wreck you all the time. <laughs> or skip your comments. <laughs> Not the hero we deserve. It's really funny. Oh man, yeah. I should redo I should do the tier lists like once a month. I should do that same video once a month and see what changes. <laughs> Oh, it is very good, isn't it? It is very, very good. The guy should have been a rebel. Uh, yes, I'm gonna get it in a little while. I'm gonna wait for that paycheck to come in, and then I'll and then I'll grab it. My God, inflation! Uh, but it looked good. I just went the other day. If you saw my story, I just went to go check if it was there, and it is there. So, but we will be doing that on stream. I can't wait for that. So, get those soupies in. So, if you want to see me be, uh, see me build the T6 shuttle. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's so true. That is literally your energy, man. That is literally your energy. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, hidden talents. <laughs> I shred on the base. That's probably not like a, like a fun talent, but I'm a very good bassist. I'm very confident in how much I shred the base. Um, <laughs> that'll that'll be the next video series. Me doing bass solo renditions of Star Wars songs. That's that's <laughs> that's the next video series. There you go. It's it's probably not a it's not a fun answer, but it's probably a, the most talent thing I could probably say. I can't like backflip or anything, or like I don't know, like whistle. Whoo! Like I can't. I don't know. I can't. Really, I don't know, have any other talents. Uh, bass influence? Probably Victor Wooten. Very good. Bassists know that name. If you're not a bassist, you don't really know that name. Bassists know that name. Victor Wooten. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? <laughs> That's my secret talent, man. That's my secret talent, Sedg. <laughs> <laughs> That's my talent. That's my talent. Being Mars Guo. <laughs> I have a jazz. I've got a Fender jazz bass. <laughs> How many more do I need? More. I need more. What's that? What's that? I can line. Oh, sorry. Oh my god. We got a minute and a half. We're not focusing here. Good god. <laughs> can, we, can we stay on task? Damn it. Okay. All right. Hey. Nice. 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 Scotchy, scotch, scotch for Star Wars. I love it. You know what? I kind of want a scotch. It's 11 a.m. though. I'm not going to have a scotch. Yep, right? Okay, all right. Okay, hang on. Let's get sorted here. we got less than a minute. Oh my jeez. Second Sun Zig isn't even at home. He's at work. My God. What are, we, what are you doing here? 
Um, all right, let's get get your Disney Plus up. Get it rolling. So much is happening. Okay, I gotta set up this. I have two cameras, by the way, if you didn't know. One one is for the stream, one is for filming the reaction I edit and post later. So let me set that up and then we get going, yeah? Hopefully I've timed this well. So much is happening. So much is happening. Okay, hang on. I'm not ready. Is it out yet? Is there, are you guys refreshing? Why is this so upside today? Oh my god, this is so stressful. Have I not set this up beforehand? Okay, hang on. Crikey on a stick. Is it out yet? What the hell is that sound? Oh, the time is done. Oh my god, the time is done. Okay. Oh my god. It's up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Give me two seconds. Oh my god. Stay stay with me. Don't start it yet. Holy shit. <laughs> Where's that time I got? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait okay uh what do we do reset stopwatch okay let me get holy holy shit shit <laughs> i'm not ready okay okay let me let me get it on the the timer on the screen schnikes schnikes okay timer on the screen we're gonna do a countdown from five so get get your, get it all set up ready to press play some of you missed it last time i don't want you to be behind so you're ready let me get the video going Holy crap. Okay. Woo! Oh my god, this is so wonky. I'm so sorry. This is so stressful. What am I doing with my life? Okay, you you all ready to go? This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, we're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Let's crank that light down a little bit. We're going to be counting down in five, ready to press play. Getting down. Here we go. Five. You guys ready? Go ready? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Watch party. Uh, make sure you're back here after the episode for the chat as well. I'm going to have a quick debrief. Post show. Post show. All right. We're going to be hitting play on Ahsoka episode four in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Such great score, isn't it? So good. All right, you guys ready? Don't skip, don't skip anything. So we get at the same time. I'm so scared right now. What's that sound?
I love to see him meditate or something. Is she meditate? Oh my god, that's an intense Ben. I'm so glad you're here. It's only just started. Good timing. Oh. Ooh, that's actually an interesting point. Mm. Damn, that's a real good question. Damn. Oof. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Mm, it's deep. <laughs> she said the thing. She said the thing. It's a cool ship, eh? Whoop. Oh, <laughs> Lamau! He's just ready. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Balin is so cool, man. I want to be Balin. Actually, no, I want to be, I want to be, um, what's her face? Her. Fallen Jedi. Interesting. Oh, I love her in the armor. She looks so good in the armor. Yeah, who's the fallen Jedi? Is that Ahsoka? Is it a Sabine? Is it is it Balin? Maybe yes to all. The hell is the hair doing today?
Mm. I love that he was talking to himself. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, that's sick. That is sick. Oh, they knew. She knew. That was perfection. That was amazing. Well, that, oh, well, that's kind of nice. That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, it's so good. Fuck. It's so good. Run. This is awesome. This is like freaking, we're in Clone Wars right now. What's up? What up? She's so great. So great. Yes, it's happening right now, bro. OJ, get in there. If you can skip to 11 minutes, that's where we're at. Oh, awesome. Damn, live action ghost is sick. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh, I love him. Love him. <laughs> oh, dude, I got I got a fish fast a little. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Sick. I knew they were gonna come. I knew they were gonna like go to them. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, 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 sweet. sweet. Run, OJ. Run. You haven't you haven't missed too much, OJ, by the way.
was too fun. It was too fun, AJ. And I, ooh. This is awesome, eh? This is sick. Back rip, yeah, she's doing the back rip, eh? Ooh, ow. Mm, me too. I like the armor. <laughs> Dude, this is so hype. Oh, <laughs> bye. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like entails. Oh, that is fascinating. Whoa, okay. So it ain't Star Killer. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> Okay, all right, hang on. What the hell's going to happen? Woo. So, yeah, like that Inquisitor in Taz the Jedi. I never understood that, to be honest. What just transpired? A remnant of the Night Sister magic? Maybe, yeah, yeah. It could be Star Starkiller. <laughs> Starkilled, lol. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, good neck crack. Let's go, gang. Let's go. Yeah, true, DB. True. To Stardust. True.
Oh, this is gonna get juicy. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> <Ruh> <laughs> Oh damn! I I, I didn't even know what's happening. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. Oh shit. Smoke bomb. Taking cod. Oh no, she's not gonna do it, she's not gonna do it! Oh, sho! Bro!
That's it. Damn. Damn. How much happening then? Shouldn't you need a pop then? Holy shit. Are they going to get stuck in the ring? The ghost of the ships will get stuck in the ring. That's what will happen. They're going to take them with them. Oh, no. Oh.
What's this? What's happening? What between worlds? I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe, man. I can't. Man. Man. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm sh I can't stop shaking. <sighs> oh, let's get that fucking music back on, eh? <sighs> Dude, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. What do, we, what do you say? What do you say? Oh. 
I like don't know what to say, man. Hey snips, man. Hey snips. They gotta do us with that. Hey snips, don't they? They gotta do us with that. Hey snips. <laughs> oh, my friends. Dude. Can't, man. Yeah, oh, Darren, I'm actually with you there, man. Oh. I can't, I just can't even process anything at all, ever, in the slightest right now. You're trying to kill your winkle. <laughs> winkle. Great episode, says Keith. Beauties. What what do we think? <laughs> Let's try and talk about <laughs> the other stuff that happened. I felt I can't even talk about anything apart from what just re was revealed. I, ca I didn't even know what to discuss, man. There's a lot in that. A lot happened. Oh, man. People loving it. Rubber processing. Crying in the club. Feels the vibes. Spins going to Thrawn. Brady. Amazing episode. My jaw dropped multiple times. Me too. Soka's not dead. Hard to say. She's in the world between worlds. 100%. Such a good threat. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah, I, I rated that out of 10, Apo. I'm with you there, friend. That was so beautiful, man. That was the most... It was so beautiful. The snips. Oh, man. So beautiful. It was so beautifully done. So perfectly done. So beautiful. What between words makes sense? I wonder what we're going to do there. It's going to be fascinating. 10 out of 10, man, for me too. I, I don't even know how to talk. Jordan, holy shit, dude. Dude. <laughs> I can't even speak on my own show, dude. <laughs> You're crying. One's in the chat if you have shed a tear tonight. One's in the chat if you have shed a tear. Oh man, so many ones. It's been a lot of be feelings betray her. Yeah, you know what? Like I, it's so hard to talk about everything that happened in the episode. Okay, so uh, someone mentioned that we we we, we got a. <laughs> I am not well. That is, yeah, spot on, man. Skyworks is kind of me. Your family died on Mandalore because you your master didn't trust you. Yeah. Does that mean? Did the Wren family die in the Night of a Thousand Tears? Did her brother and mother and father die? Joel, Joel, what if, what is if you're still here, brother? What are your thoughts on this? Does that mean they're dead? Maybe she was training with Ahsoka, and that's why they weren't there to help or something? What's <laughs> it all three dudes from John? Not doing well! It's so good! It is so good. Episode 5 is going to be insane, man. Oh, man. We, got, we have to do... Put put a number two in the chat. Put a number two in the chat if you want a two-hour countdown for next week's episode. Two in the chat for two-hour countdown next episode because I feel like we're going to need it. Me too, Wolfsy. We've got a process. Yeah, does that mean... Does that mean... <laughs> I 
I didn't even say anything. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Sounds good, Nicole. We'll catch you next time. I don't know how you sleep after that. <whistles> Lots of twos in the chat. <laughs> Looks like we'll be doing a two hour countdown next week. Let's do that. That sounds good to me, friends. Let's stick to that. OJ, five dollar dues. Thank you for the donor. I just want to see lights at Anakin at full power or at least see him complete the circus training. You know what? I'm down for that. I'm down for training training in the world between worlds. I'm I would think that would be incredible. Do it must be done. <sighs> yeah, am I yeah, am I getting confused there? Oh, maybe it did. Oh, I think I... Yes, I think you're right. I think I am wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, 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 yeah, okay, okay. Holy shit, I say, yeah. F for real. For real. On an episode. I can't even... I, I can't even... Function. This is Star Wars, Savio. I said this. I said this when that trailer dropped. I said, this is the most Star Wars thing to ever happen. And I still stand by that. Mm. Oh, it did happen after Rebels. Okay. Does that, is, she, is he kind of insinuating that, like, yeah, her whole family died? Oh. Should I could, we'll see a flashback of Ezra and Robert Tool Wells. Maybe, maybe. So it could very much be a catch-up episode, explaining everything we haven't seen before to the show. Sh before the show started, hopefully Sabine meets Thrawn. Yeah. Oh man, this show is just gonna skyrocket. Holy crap. <laughs> There's so much that can happen now. Since City coming in with the ten dollar news. I was sitting here mad at Sabine, even though it had to play out like this to get Thrawn. Uh, but when I heard Hey Snips and saw him, the tears just exploded out of me like an alien. <laughs> like an alien. It's perfect. It's just the most perfect. It's something that people have thought about, talked about since we first saw them in Clone Wars. Would we ever see this in live action? It only really became a possibility when we talked about having an Ahsoka show. Well, we saw Ahsoka live action of Mando. Then we knew we were getting this show, and then we knew Hayden was was in the ballpark for coming back to Star Wars with Kenobi. And this is it. This is the dream of ye of decades of like fifteen years. It's it's so amazing. She I don't think she's not there. She's in the world between worlds. Right, right, right. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, now I can't wait for that poll. It's going to be different. Thanks, Nui. Appreciate you. Oh, man. It's so good, isn't it? Why can't Anakin knight Ahsoka like a Jedi like Kanan got knighted? Oh, that'd be interesting. <laughs> That's so true. Dave, hold my beard. 100%. 100%. This is, we, we, we got to let people know how good this is. Saki, $2 dues coming in. Thank you so much for the support. Well, that explains why Sabine hung up her gear. That would make sense. And it, she's so like anti everything. Would make sense. How good, travelers. How good. Let's get a poll up in this chat. I mean, I feel like I know what it's going to be. That was, it's just stunning. It was stunning. You couldn't get any better. It couldn't get any better. 10 out of 10. I think this is my first 10 out of 10 episode. This is my very first 10 out of 10. All right. Man, I, I'm struggling to find words here. I'm just in awe right now. This was insanely beautiful. 
I honestly think Ahsoka goes back through the war between worlds and has to redo the events. If we remember the Rebels, she was dressed in white with a staff. Maybe she comes back like Gandalf did. That'd be that'd be very interesting for a TV show, actually, to like totally redo all the scenes. Insane. What an amazing episode. Yeah, I, I'm gonna rewatch it like immediately after this, about twenty four thousand times. I think that's the only way we all have to do this. Hey, the only way it could have been better was if she called him Sky Guy, but that was her teenage Padawan name for him. Uh, Master was very fitting given the scene yeah and you know she does say master a lot like that is like i think her most common name for him i th i feel like we gotta if we get okay episode five we get like training oh fuck this is the worst time to get an eyelash in my eye oh my god um if we get a training on the world between worlds with them and like we get more conversation with them she has to drop a sky guy like being sassy at some point real talk we see through our next episode, or is it all be War Between Worlds stuff? Uh, it, it'll be Jewel. It'll be Jewel. We'll get War Between Worlds stuff, and then Thrawn in that new galaxy stuff. We'll be Jewel. It'll be both. Because that, that very much is the vibe of the show so far. There's kind of a couple of things going on at the same time. Um, man. I'm just... It's stunning. It's so good. All right, we'll catch you next time, Zami. <laughs> Sin City. Oh, spoil. Spoil away. We're, we're here for spoilers full. This is a spoiler full discussion, brother. Hey, Tech, how you doing? Oh, man. 10 is too low. I agree with you, Brad. Okay. Hear me out. What if Ahsoka pulls some avatar shears in his deep into meditative state, and that's how she got into the war between worlds? Yeah, it, like, it could be this weird... It's almost like, like, I don't know if I'm going a bit too... I think I'm stepping out of the law here, but, like, what if the war between worlds is the state where a force ghost, like, resides or something? That's where they, like, hang out, when they're not, like, showing up to their Padawans, you know what I mean? So maybe she is a little bit Gandalf in that sense... Where she kind of dies in a weird way, but she, her spirit is kind of alive, and then she comes back to the living because she kind of, because that's kind of Gandalf's journey. Like he comes back because he had to finish some things, he had to finish the journey. So maybe that's Ahsoka's kind of journey here. Fallen Jedi referring to Balin and Ahsoka and Sabine. I'm screaming. Yeah, great, interesting title, wasn't it? It was very scary at the start. I was like, oh, Fallen Jedi, who is it? Insane. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, right? She needs to say, uh, Bye Sky Girl when she leaves. Oh, yeah, that'll be. Oh, that'll be hit. So good. Nah, she's not, the, she's not the chosen one. We'll catch you next time, Rebecca. Mm, kind of. I've been crying for the last 15 minutes. Yeah, dude, I, just, I, I, I couldn't talk for like 20 minutes. <laughs> not 20 minutes, like 10 minutes. I think it would not be Thrawn, but flashbacks to see the young Ahsoka actress they hide. Yeah, maybe. I think we've got to see that at some point. Peak Star Wars says CG. Star Wars is back. Solid episode. Choked up the end. Merrick went out like a chump. I know. See you, Starkiller. Uh, Sabine annoyed me uh, at the end. That said, 10 out of 10. Best Star Wars since Clone Wars. Yeah, you know what? I could agree with that. <coughs> Let's look at the rating. AD. <laughs> 87% of people saying it is a 10 out of 10 episode. We're going to be here for a while. Settle in. Go share the stream on Twitter. I feel like we all just need a group hug, debrief. We're not going anywhere. I usually sign off quite quickly from these things, but we're not going anywhere today. We just got to... I feel like we just need to... It's, you know when you go through like something traumatic? And you just got to like be around some friends. I feel like this that's the energy right now. Is that the energy? You guys agree? Insane. Oh, it's in he's incredible. Beautiful, beautiful Ray Stevenson. It's so incredibly sad. He's such a wonderful, wonderful creative. Yeah, man. It's, it's insane. We'll see you next time, Julie. That's a, that's a solid consensus. It's such a beautiful... Like, it's so deep. Like, so much happened. It wasn't like... Like, of course we're f all freaking the fuck out about the end of the show. The episode. But... 
There's so much depth and interest with the whole show. It's not hinged on this one amazing thing. You know what I mean? The, the, the dynamics of trying to understand Sabine, what Ahsoka's going through. The, there was action, there was interest, the, the characters are really strong. Balin's strong, Shin is strong. Freaking Huang is a strong character. It's perfect, man. It's so good. No, we're not leaving. <laughs> you gotta stay here, Julie. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, right, right? It's okay. I have a bunch of War Between Worlds stuff lined up for people. It's gonna be good. Oh, Thomas, let's talk about that. The choreography? Holy shit, dude, that was perfect. It was so good. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Sin City. I could, like, sit up, man. Oh, it's so good. He's not just evil, he's actually kept his word. Yeah, I like the style of villain he is. I absolutely. <sighs> That's when you know. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and ugh, I feel bad to like shit on Mando right now. We love Mandalorian, sure. But you know, like season two was really good, but it's like, I, I do feel like it hinged on that one amazing thing of like Luke coming at the end. But, um... Oh, this season two was pretty solid. But, like, season three, it kind of felt that. It's like, oh, we've had this one great moment, but the rest of it isn't that strong of a story going. But this is, like, there's so much, like, we've just gotten the most mind-blowingly incredible appearance and connection of two characters in Star Wars since, like, its invention. But it's like, there's still so much outside of that. There's still everything happening. Gonna find Thrawn. What's Ezra up to? Is Shin gonna, like, kill everyone? She looks like a maniac. Why is Sabine sad? Did she use a force push? Did Sabine force push? I forgot about that. Did that happen? <laughs> oh, rightly. Yo, who's watching this like 4,000 times? Me. <sighs> At least Sabine is going to see Ezra now. True. Yeah, I think everyone thought that was going to be F5, wasn't it? It's so... He's so good at it. He's so good at it. <laughs> so true. It's so... Like, Merrick just went poof and what by. <laughs> oh my gosh. She did. I mean, she's so good. She's so good, right? <laughs> yeah. As an 8-year-old and a 23-year-old. I vibe with that. Oh my goodness. I'm so curious what they plan to do with Balin if they sh if the show gets a season two. Ray Stevenson gives so much to the character. Absolutely. Like, I just, I can't process what they would do with that. I can't process it. <laughs> Team Bear Batch, I love that. Thank you, Tech. Yeah, it was like a baby force push, wasn't it? I think Sabine was just distracting her. Sabine force slapped her. <laughs> yeah, it was like a force slap, wasn't it? Like <laughs> the check on Sabine was a dead. That was scary. I was a little, a little scared there. A little, a little bit scared there. <laughs> gonna see luke at the end of the show i bet yeah i like that someone brought this up i was like oh luke should be training jason i'm for that now i'm like yeah it's gonna happen that's gonna like be the connection uh when when they were in shin and her were dueling in the forest and just being like fell down <sighs> look at rocks like nothing happened i want to do backflips i what kind of job is that are you an archaeologist or a rock climber i don't know but you're looking at rocks all day that's it. it gives you time to think about it. Another five dollar reduce from the ge ever so generous Sin City. Can we give props to the low angle cameraman following Hera walking back and stop that? God damn it! Oscar worthy cinematography, Oscar worthy woman. Uh, but yeah, amazing. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Oh my god. I also love how every time Anakin reveals himself. It's peak Star Wars. Reveals himself to Luke as his father. Peak. Uh, peak. Um, reveals himself to Ahsoka in the world between worlds. Peak. It's a story about family at the end of the day. Absolutely. I was actually having this conversation with someone. It was like, literally just what Star Wars is about. One of my first answers is family. It's about family. That's the most important thing. Bobby thinking it's a great episode. Was, was expecting a better ending for Merrick. Just seemed too easy, too fast. I know. But it kind of makes sense. Gives a little bit more focus onto Shin and Balin, maybe? I don't know. I think Shin just expected a force push and flinched. 
Oh yeah, I could say yeah. I need to honestly. I need to rewatch this ten times. I think there's so many details in this. I'm, there's so many detail this. That we could. I just need to rewatch it a thousand times. I cannot wait for my review video on this. My God. Mm, I think Sab Sabine's pretty talented though. She, she's very very talented though. So even if she's a bit rusty, she's been training for a little bit. Like we don't know how long she was with the soccer again. Archaeologist, there we go. No, that's sweet. What a job. That's a cool job, man. She flinched because the force power was coming. Maybe, and you know, and Shin, what did Shin say there? She was like, you have no power or something. She like said something back to him. So that makes sense. I have to go to work in a little bit. I'm just so stunned. I can't even finish to get re getting ready. Dude, I, I'm with you there, Saki. I don't know how you're going to do it. <laughs> how do we all carry on living to, like after this now? What do we do with our lives? CG coming in with the two dollar e dues. Damn it! Agreeing <laughs> with Susie, amazing camera work. <laughs> That's true. Comes back for everything, doesn't she? Doesn't he? I didn't watch all the rebels, only a few eps. Uh, she, she's not really dead. She's not really dead. She, in short, no, she's not really dead. So. How do you think Ahsoka feels about Anakin? Like, did she even know? And if she does, did she really forgive him? Or will we see her process her feelings about the Vader thing next episode? You know what? I think she's going to be automatically very forgiving. I think she's automatically very, very forgiving of, Ana of Vader's legacy and history. I think she will be very forgiving of that, to be honest. And she'll probably talk about it, though. <laughs> honestly, a big weight was lifted when Marek turned to be nothing. I know I really wanted him to be Starkiller, but honestly, that would have taken away from everything else. I agree. I agree. I think if it was this other big reveal, it would have been maybe kind of made things a little too messy, a little too full on. I don't know. I, I, I agree with you, here, Tim. That's a good point. Has Lab Ghost reached 4,000 so all goes on met? I wish I could afford by $500. That's that's an expensive ship. It was not a force push. She tried but couldn't. Sometimes a force can manifest in stressful times, but she totally used it as a distraction to get yeah, true. Darth Huang. Oh, there, there, there's a theory. Darth Huang. I love this episode at 10. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Thank you for the two dollar news, man. Great camera work. Let's go. Best episode yet. Hell yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Thanks, Vera. I appreciate that, man. I like the the direction during. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh, so can we mention the freaking duel between Huang and the HK droid? How freaking sick was that? That was awesome. And he's like, his backpack arms would like come over and like, poof, poof. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> America's totally a zombie being held together by with night sister magic, just like the zombies and night sisters using Clone Wars episode massacre. Yeah, true. And in Fallen Order, in Fallen Order, right? My goodness. Yeah, I vibe that. I vibe that. My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all agreeing. Marek should have been a nobody. That's a good decision. Good decision. Yeah, let's get... I don't know. I like... So is that a scene? I don't know if it's like a side scene or an, the episode. Like, I don't understand what that means. But we're, we're... I guess we'll go live for that this Saturday. Let's... For freaking book it in. We'll go live for that and talk about that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but we'll do it. I know everyone uh, is going to want all of next episode to be a secret Anakin, but I really want Sabine and Thrawn to 50-50. I think it'll be like 60% Anakin and Ahsoka and 40% Thrawn and Sabine. I think it'll be, that'll be it. It's going to destroy. Yeah, it was, he, he was nuts. It was, he really went to town. He went to town. Okay, what do you got? Uh, theory regarding Anakin and the war between worlds at the end. This loosely based on the legend's idea that the Sith shrine exists under the Coruscant Je Jedi Temple. Part one. Give me a part two. I'm ready for it. Unpopular opinion. Cameos only distract the viewer from the poor writing. Are you saying this is poor writing? 
every piece of this dialogue, this show has been un just, just so good. Are you are you making a, a statement that this is a poorly written show, dude? He's got it. He's got it. SPC unleashed. Hello there. New to the channel, love. Just love seeing everyone's opinion on this show. It's good. It's interesting, isn't it? Different opinions coming in. Flying in. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. So, so I said Saturday because it's my Saturday. But Friday. Friday will be going live in US time. It's Saturday here for Australia. Anakin will fly Thrawn from Ahsoka. Ooh, that's a, that's a cool... That's a cool thought. That's a cool thought. Oh, man. What a day. Oh, man. I'm so overwhelmed. You reckon 20% of it's going to be thrown? Interesting. Very samurai episode. Watching the fighting stances uh, scream samurai. Yeah. Let's do them, eh? Let's do them. Not the frame rate dropping. Not the frame rate dropping. Yeah, I gotta got wait for the frame rates to come back up. That's a really great theory, Caleb. I like that. That's a really creative thought there. I like that. We could definitely see her giving you advice and things like that. Amazing. Okay. All right. So. What I this stan this stances walk me through the stances. She she does this one also. If you weren't here, this is the this is the Ahsoka pool noodle saber that we made, uh, for the countdown of the premiere of Ahsoka. Um, she does she does the one where she like holds it out. She didn't she did. I like how she did the um, I like how she's not she's not using her her little saber. And then she does the one where she stands. She did that one. What else did she do? She did um. Oh, she did, she did like one, did she hold it behind? I feel like she did that one at some point. Some point. Yeah, the Darth Vader theme at the end there, that was sick, wasn't it? That was super cool. I apologize, episode three for me is, uh, for me, meh? This Mando season two optimism interest. What? Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? I'm kind. This Mando season two optimism interest. What? What does that mean? What do you, I, I can't piece together what you're trying to say there. So sorry. Can you rewear that in any other way? Uh, I think the rumor is true that next week the jeweler Mustafa will be revisiting and so he finally sees what happens to Anakin. Ooh. Maybe they go watch it. They oh, imagine they go watch it together in the War Between Worlds. They go back and watch it. Oh, insane. What does uh Balin have his apprentice and he uh have his apprentice to have a uh, Padawan haircut? I don't understand. Is he trying to bring back the order? That's a great point, Travelers. I think I think Balin has a very he's, he's I'm still trying to read him, to be honest. His angle, what he's trying to do. He's very obviously very sour towards Anakin and Ahsoka, and that a lineage of, of people. Um That's a good question. I don't think I can answer that, to be honest. It's a good thing to ponder. Since City notice how Balin and Ahsoka are sort of uh, are sort of run and gun until squaring off against each other. Very, very much uh, economy of motion and swapping between lightsaber forms form five and Ian Palps rock. Like out in Palps rock. Yeah, true. I like that. They're very because they're both very, you know, we had this big conversation about how Jedi, like, at that age are a lot more solemn and serious. Like that was it that was a a, a a lightsaber jewel that was of masters. That was really awesome to see. I think they did that very well. Like it was very calculated movements. It was very what did you say? Economy of motion. That is a that is a fantastic term to describe that. 
So good. I'm watching it again. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think why Ahsoka hits more to a lot of fans is there's more Jedi's, more Force, more lightsaber battles. We've been missing that excitement since the Clone Wars. You got to actually, you got to probably a very good point, the Travelers. I like that thought. I like that a lot. Stay together. Yeah, you can't can't beat it. Can't beat it. Ahsoka took her sabers out uh, first and struck first. She ain't no Jedi. She ain't no Jedi. She's cool than a Jedi. Uh, I like how Ahsoka did beat Balin until the sphere grab hurt her. Yeah, it's true. She was kind of winning there. I would agree with that. <sighs> Man, what do we just watch? What do we just go through together, dude? I can't even understand anything. My brain's not comprehending. It's not comprehending. Insane, man. What's uh? What's the polls got us going? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the poll. Where is it? Here we go. 131 votes. 83% of you voting a 10 out of 10 episode. Incredible. There's such... That is insane. I've never seen such a thing in Star Wars. It's a beautiful... Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Yeah, was that a whistling bird she used or something like that? I love that little wrist rocket she had. That was cool. I think she had that in Rebels, though. I think so. It's acidic, damn it. See, everyone agrees with my assessment of Hera, of the Hera cameraman, and they gave you supers because of it. Once again, I'm awesome. <laughs> I don't know how you work this magic, man. <laughs> oh, I love it, Sin City. I love it. <laughs> I'm betting an Ezra and Thrawn reveal next week. You bet, baby. You bet. I think so. I think we will. Man, this show is just going to go up and up from here. Damn it, CG. <laughs> We're all agreeing with them. Oh, thank you for the $2 reviews. All right, guys. I got to go recover. Have a scotch or something. <laughs> Make sure you're here in two days' time. Well, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a few live streams actually coming up now that I'm thinking about it. Thursday night. Thursday night, we will be having our in-depth debrief and discussion about it. This is where we crank out the whiteboard and we talk all our theories of what can be coming up, what this all means, what the episode, what happened. We'll unpack it more in depth once we've had a few rewatches. Get the whiteboard out. That'll be Thursday night. Late night. A little bit of late night. So 6pm uh, Pacific, 9pm East then. We're going to be going live. Excuse me so much. Sorry. Uh, we're going to be going live. And then on Friday we'll go live again for this little little thing little master apprentice whatever the hell i don't even know what it is to see what's going on there why didn't uh second saber come out yeah that's a, that's a good question db i did think that i was like why isn't she getting the other one out i have the same question <clears throat> oh, i'm your hegel damask you are hero damask man gosh classic classic insane wasn't it jacob insane Oh, I just, I, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to just rewatch the, re like, I, I can't even, re I'm like blacked out. I've like, I swear I've blacked out. Lots of rewatches, absolutely. Anyone that produces any more Star Wars shows needs to sit down with Dave Filoni first. He knows how to keep the plot together. Yeah, I don't know why he isn't like head of the creator. Like, I know we love him directing and writing stuff, but like, he should be like head, uh, what's that role? Story group? Maybe he's a bit confined there. Maybe, you know, like creative director. I don't know. But I totally agree, Julie. He needs that role. Yeah. It was chaotic, wasn't it? It was very chaotic. Yeah, maybe. That's probably a good point, Peter. I mean, I'm not I'm not fully up with my Saber form, so maybe there is a thing with the certain form that they were using. She could read that a single Saber would have been better. That's probably a part of it. Head honcho. Thank you, Sin City. I feel like you're my, um, what's that word? You're my Hugo Damask guy. You are Hugo Damask. You watch my numbers. I love it. I love it. Oh, 100%. Very, it's very samurai, this whole episode. I mean, the whole, Ahsoka's whole, kind of, um, the way she carries herself. 
is very, very, very um samurai like, and I love it. Also, hey, hey, OJ, you're back, you're back. <laughs> he vanished. He's gone. Why Star Killer? Uh, but yeah, I think I think we're he he is uh, was held. I think Joel said this earlier. He's held together by Night Sister Magic. I think that's a great a great way to describe that. Hey, David. What did you think of the episode? Yeah, it's weird. It is weird. I don't know why. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have some. I don't know. I probably have some more thoughts. Get those votes in, baby. Get those votes in. Almost at 150 votes. Still, it's over 80 percent of people saying a 10 out of 10 episode. Do you know how good that is? It's so good. So good. <laughs> Kian saying the shock on my face at the end of the episode. Yeah, I, I, I think. You know what it was? You know what? And they did th I think this was perfect. This is what made it perfect. They they were winding down the episode. We had we had like the wow moment. Sabine was captured. We had um Hera come in, but then the space ring like blasted off. That was kind of shocking. It felt like we're at the end of the episode in terms of like, that's where we're going to pause it for today. Today, And then we're going to see what happens with like Ahsoka next week. We're going to see where they went to like next week. It felt like the end. And for, and I, th I really thought like that panning shot of the ocean was going to be like the final episode, final episode, final scene to be like, oh, this is like the last, like, you know, we, what, what did happen to Ahsoka? Like, we're going to be left there thinking that. It felt like that was going to be the final shot. And then the second it started merging into, like, the, the dust and the war between worlds, I was like, oh, no, what's going to happen? I'm very surprised that we got the Anakin there. Like, I was not expecting that at all. For some reason, that was just not in my head. I was like, okay, we're going to have just these shots of Ahsoka, just so we know she's in the war between worlds. It literally wasn't until the second, and I, I don't know, do you guys watch it with subtitles? I don't know. But the second it came up, hey snips, it came up with the subtitles, I was like, no freaking way we're having it right now. Insane. Insane. That's a good point. Insane. Next week episode is written and directed by Dave. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be insane. The good thing I am enjoying about this show, and I think this is why it's going so well and it's so strong and it's so impressive, is that it is all written by Dave. All the episodes are written by Dave. But then the different directors. I mean, I've enjoyed the way it's every episode so far has been directed. It's very good. Oh. I can't believe that ending happening happened. I can't believe... What the hell? What the hell is happening? I can't believe that existed, man. Yeah. I'm with you, Lady Malfoy. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm so glad I lived that moment with, with you guys live. Oh, man. Oh, she, she's perfect. It's perfect, right? We've got to put some respect on her. It is perfection. Perfection. Can't get any better. Cannot get any better. Oh, man. I like... Hang on, let me let me do this. I just I don't know. I like I want to go because you know to like edit everything and make everything, but also I don't want to leave. I feel like we just got to keep getting this out, eh? Oh my god. I just can't... What the hell? What, what the hell was happening? Is that the Anakin we know, or a different Anakin? Oh, no. It's the it's same Anakin. I don't think they're gonna do that. Was her move the same Obi-Wan used against Maul? Against Marek? Maybe. Maybe. I want to go back and watch that. That would be a good catch. It's really a good point. Double, double bladed. So it could be. Could be. Oh, yeah. Oh, she... <laughs> She's a 10 out of 10 on my drip meter. Oh, she's a 10 out of 10. 100%. This week was action packed. Next week they will pull it back much more serious thing. Yeah, I think it'll be much more like a for that like that force centric 
style. Talk about the force. Talk about the feelings. There'll be there'll be a lot of war between worlds. Insane. I just yeah. I don't know what I say. I don't know what to keep saying, man. What if we see Kanan in the world between worlds? Oh, that's an interesting thought, Darth Teddy. I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I don't know if he's incredibly relevant right now. In terms of, um... Yeah, I don't know if he would really fit there. I don't know. Just read a comment. Merrick was what Anakin uh, feared the most. Sand. <laughs> he was sand. He turned into the sand and blew away. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. My assumption is that Anakin or the sister brought her into the war between worlds. So he's basically immortal since she became one with the owl. Uh, this is her transformation to Ahsoka the White. Yeah, again, this is. Uh, let's talk about this. This Tolkien Lord of the Rings link. I, it's very, very similar. I think Gandalf's journey that he kind of, he kind of was just like plot device saved because it's like he had to finish his journey. That's why he came back. He had to finish his journey. This this quest, and I think Ahsoka's journey is very much like that at this point. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about like how how did she survive. I think it's more of a. She she had to survive, and she that she isn't just like gone because she, she her, her journey hasn't finished yet. Mm. Well, we wow e episode. What do you think, Voyager? But how is it, Anakin? We know if he's already dead. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's so wild. I can't believe it. Yeah, but I mean, like he's. He's a force ghost at this point. That's his job now. He's just hanging out. He's, he went and visited Luke a few years ago when they destroyed the Death Star. <laughs> He's just hanging out now. I've got this theory. I wonder if this is in lore somewhere about... Um, maybe the War Between Worlds is where force ghosts hang out. You know, you know what I mean? In like a casual way. Like that's where they reside. That's where force ghosts live, essentially. In the war between worlds. That's my theory. I don't know if that's talked about anywhere. But I I, I think so. Oh, dude. With the, with the episode that that's just happened, I'm telling you, no one gives a flying hoot about who, like, Marek is. I, I don't think anyone cares because of the incredibleness of the rest of the episode, to be honest. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We could literally see anyone next week, right? Oh, JS, I love it. Come share your love, friend. Insane. It, it is complicated. It's very complicated. And maybe, you know, maybe I should do a whole ass, like, live show on it. Talking about the, what the hell the world between world is. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just Force Ghost. He's just Force Ghost at this point, essentially. I say, since he's Force Ghost, the reason he looks solid is because the world between worlds is a Force energy and amplified that. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be questioning that too much. And I would agree with you here, Sage. I think it's like, uh, you know, that's where he's hanging out. He looks solid. He does look solid, actually. That's a good point. It's a good way to describe it. He looks very solid. They're quite gone. Obi and Yoda hang out at the bar world between worlds. Yeah, what, what, what would be the, the world bar, uh, world between worlds? The world bar. That's what we call, actually. The between bar. <laughs> the bar between bars. <laughs> that's what we call. He's dust. He's star... Who said that in the chat <laughs> when we were watching it? He's stardust. Was that OJ? <laughs> it was very, very funny. Oh, Merrick was cool, but clearly Ahsoka is cool. Yeah, true, Zach. True, Zach. Insane CTA. Insanity. Insanity. People say ghosts are supposed to be caught between the world between uh, world and afterlife. So, world between the world is Star Wars version of that. See, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. And that is where Force Ghosts live, and they can just appear where they are needed. Yes, that is my uh, yes. This is my theory that that's literally where they hang out. Force Ghosts just hang out in the world between worlds until they need to like pop in as be like, hey, you have a sister. <laughs> <laughs> 
more between more cantina. I love it. Yeah, it's 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 insane. I just can't believe it. Fif like fifteen years, we've we've all dreamed of this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Josh coming in with the ten dollar dues. Thank you for the big soupy, buddy. Obviously, Anakin is huge, but even taking that moment out of the episode, still absolute fire. Sabine turned New Galaxy thrown on the way, and Rosario said that episode five is her favorite. Yeah, it is incredible. I, I think, and I was saying this a little earlier of like, how good is that? That we can take away freaking Hayden Christensen being in Ahsoka live action with Ahsoka freaking Tano. If we take that moment out of it, if if we didn't get that ending, this would have been like a nine out of ten episode. Just saying, it's that amazing. It's that amazing, and that's incredible. Incredible. Thank you for the very very generous soupy, Josh. I appreciate them, man. Maybe just me. I'm skeptical as to what is talking to a second world between worlds, force ghost or force giving giving her a vision. Hmm, that's a good, that is skeptical. In a negative way. Yeah, I don't know why I'm just kind of, I'm settling on Force Ghost. I don't know why, but that's it. It's an interesting point to bring up. You know what we need? We probably need the whiteboard for that discussion. Oh, I want to read that. That is incredible. That is so cool. I need to read that book, dude. So it was solid, and he was sort of glowing and shimmering. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's why I think I just assumed Force Ghost. And to be honest, I was too, like, just in shock to absorb much, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ashley, coming in with a $2 dude is right. Help, I'm still crying, but I need to be in bed. Cry in bed. That is the solution. Cry in bed. <laughs> but I feel that. I feel that. Still crying. Cry with us. Let it out. Thank you for your donor. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dio. Yeah, he looks pretty good here. Do you, like, he was a little de-aged, don't you reckon? But, um... He looked good. He looked very good. Sabine is that friend you can talk into anything, like robbing a bank or dumping a body out of a plane. Wow, geez, over Alaska? That's it. Wow, how, how did you have that planned and, like, ready to go? Ready to say so quickly? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. You're hilarious, Julie. That's it. Uh, but I kind of agree. She would do that with you. Apollo. Sabine cannot be a fallen Jedi because there is no Jedi Order to be inducted in to begin with. Learn to use a gun is not the same as being a cop. A lot of metaphors flying around here, but I kind of get what you're trying to say here. I don't think it is Sabine, though. I think maybe they're talking about perhaps. They could be talking about everyone. They could be talking about Anakin. I think we'll be talking about Anakin as a fallen Jedi. I don't think it is really. If anyone, it's definitely not Sabine. Yeah, it would be interesting. <laughs> it's just a fever dream of Anakin. Corey, for the one of two of us who haven't watched Rebels, any recommendations for a few episodes to watch uh, before next week? Or will you do a primer for us? Would you like to, me to do a primer? I can do it. I, maybe we should do that. I'm vibing maybe I should do a live show next week. Just talking more between worlds. Just, just getting the questions out. But um, I don't have it off the top of my head. But I, I think I might be doing that. Let's do a live show on the War Between Worlds. Just, just talking about War Between Worlds. Let's do that. I like that. But good, yeah, Corey, we'll, we'll catch you up. Don't fret. We'll, we'll sort you out. Is John still speechless. Yeah, Ezra pulled her in. That's right. Who was my tears in the screen? But I thought he was shimmering. But it was my eyelash stuck in my eye like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, he was shimmering. He, he, well, that's why I thought he was a force ghost. Because he was like he was like having a shimmer or something. I don't know. Having a shimmer. Um, but definitely. 100%. He's insane, man. Insane. Maybe Anakin pulled her into the War Between Worlds. Yeah, that's a good... That's actually... That'll be epic. So what's going to be crazy next week is balancing Ahsoka and Anakin War Between Worlds with the Sabine of villains finding the other galaxy. Assuming they don't make it entirely... Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's going to be 60% Anakin Ahsoka, 
Thrawn and and everyone else. I think it'll be that. Darren thinking the full on Jedi refers to Balin. Could be. Is it likely that Ahsoka is having a vision because there is no way she died uh, falling off a cliff? I don't think she died. I think I think she got pulled. What we're saying, well, she got pulled into World Between Worlds. Ahsoka literally fell off a cliff. Yeah, true. Maybe she that is the fallen Jedi. Yeah, I'm liking this idea. Anakin pulled her in. I don't know. I don't know if it's a vision. I I think it's real. I think she's in the real World Between Worlds. I think I think so. Similar to Gandalf. Similar to Gandalf. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, let, let's let's do that, man. I'm I'm down for that. Should we just be streaming every day for the next like week <laughs> to the next episode? <laughs> I love it when people make you <laughs> accounts on fictional characters. It's my favorite. It's like that um that um <laughs> Keating Monday account. I love it. We've got a literal cliffhanger. Oh yeah, the dark saber, dark saber, uh, the book written like twenty five years ago it was great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, is that, is that, obviously legends. That'd be sick. Yeah, that is nuts. Actually, we haven't we don't really, haven't really discussed that enough. Like Sabine being like, yeah, let's go. Last piece of my family. Balin's got a good point. He really played on her. He really played on her feelings there. Bit of a Palpatine move there. Just play on their feelings. Ben, oh my god. Come, come die with us. <sighs> what the hell do we do now? <laughs> oh. I think I think Sab the the comment about the family is getting me really intrigued. I'm really wondering what that means. What does that mean? What does that mean? After she promised, uh, oh no, you can trust me. Yeah, the second that line was said, I was like, mm, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> so Chris dead, and so are we. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Excuse me, can't come quick enough. Time sucks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my god! Diamond Fig's coming in with a, a big soupy. Ten dollaritos! Thank you, champion! We won. We won so big! Congratulations to all of us. I think so. I think so. <sighs> At first I thought Sabine lowered the weapon. Thank you for the big soupy, by the way. If I, did, if I didn't emphasize it enough. Thank you, Diamond. I appreciate it. We did win. We absolutely won today. At first, I thought Sabine lowered the weapon to sucker him uh, because he because uh, she knew she couldn't take him if he was going to blast him the last second. Wait, who are we talking about? Sabine lowered the weapon. Oh, against Balin? Yeah, I actually, I kind of had a vibe that she might have shot him at the last minute. I don't know. I think it means the Wrens died during the Night of the Thousand. I know, that's what I'm worried about. I was like, I was kind of keen to maybe see them in the show, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine if we got like a freaking, what's his face? Andy Circus in Andor. Can't swim. Can't swim. <laughs> Andor has some of the best dialogue, I swear. Can't swim. <laughs> Imagine if it just had the last minute. Like, Balin's about to like push her off. <laughs> she just looks at Balin. Can't swim. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Trevor, I kind of vibe with that, actually. I th I can kind of see him, like, getting to Thrawn and then, like, trying to kill him. Yeah, that's... We're back, baby. <laughs> we're back. Yeah, is that what we're finding out? Ooh. <laughs> no shit, she's a little touchy. Sabine lost her entire family. Purge, that is so messed up. It, yeah, it's insane. Best of, yeah, yeah. So, let's talk about it. Rip them. It sounds like something more happened between Ahsoka and Sabine that we don't know. It, yeah, it definitely sounds like, and that makes sense, the, like, why there is a lot of, like, kind of, what's the word? I don't know, tension. Um, 
And if so, Sabine's quick to forgive, man. Eesh. It's like what it sounds like happened is maybe while Sabine and Ahsoka were training, maybe there was someone remote or they weren't like keeping in contact with anyone. And then the Night of a Thousand Tears happened and they both didn't know or something. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, did she die? It's so hard. Kind of? Kind of? Half, half. She half died. Right, I'm new here, but incredible episode just sub. Thank you. Thank you, Ahsoka. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, cause it's, cause it's, cause it's him. Cause it's, they gotta like, talk about the past. They can't just be like, hey, by the way, <laughs> this freaking 29 year rampage I went on. Ooh, you know, ooh. Like, they gotta acknowledge it at some point. Yeah, where's Zip? Where's Zip? I was waiting for him to show up. Come on, man. Come on. The tension with Sabine was off since episode one. Yeah, right? You kind of, so that makes sense. She's got kind of reason. Benji uh, expecting that too. Yeah, true. So we're waiting for the goat captain experience outranks everything. Absolutely. I'd, actually, does that say that on my shirt? Yeah, it does. It literally says that on my shirt, man. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Great quote. Great quote. Yeah, for, for yeah for Anakin, insane insanity. I've watched it again, and you're still going. So it must be really good. Yeah, I, I I've got no like desire to leave right now. I mean, I gotta go like um edit the reaction and everything, but uh, we'll, I'll go shortly. But I just want to get last theories out. Come on, theory time. So he's gonna use the war between walls to get Ezra and Thorn before everyone else gets there. Oh, that'd be sick. Yes, because I had this idea that maybe she. So, what we came up with last discussion was that, like, she was going to be left behind. Maybe not her, just her. I thought maybe Sabine would be left behind too. And I knew that, yeah, everyone else was going to blast off and they were going to use the Purgle. But maybe that she uses the War Between Worlds. But I thought maybe the Purgle. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I would love Rex to show up, man. Hannah, I've thought how everyone says she's not a knight, but remember right before she left the Order, Yoda said she was a Jedi knight and that whole was her trial that's a great point yeah they she, he did say that he's like well this was just a big test <laughs> so it's like uh what that's a good point they kind of technically were like you are you are the knight now like you've done the test you are the knight now she just didn't continue it so maybe she is a knight deep down Love Anakin, but I don't think it's actually him. Might be a vision of the sun from the clone of, from the Clone Wars. Oh, that's a cynical thought, but yeah, that could be true. I probably disagree, but that's an inter very, very interesting thought. Yeah, right. We're gonna see that happen. Anakin and Vader are still joined in the War Between Worlds, both personality. Oh, that'd be interesting. Very, very interesting. How can they even finish this uh, is, is in two episodes? Better be at least 15. Oh, then there's four more episodes. Because there's eight episodes, I think. Wait, is there only six episodes? No, there's eight. Oh my god, I just had a heart attack. There's eight episodes. Oh. Oh, I almost just died. Oh my god, there's eight. There's eight episodes, not six. Whew. That's scary. No, you're right. You're right, Austin. All good. Uh, I thought there were, yeah, there's eight. There's eight. Whew, that was so scary. Conjuring the dark side and using it? Mm, I don't think so. That's it. That'll be very interesting. But if Thrawn is dead and uh, it's actually a film, possibly for Moth Dithra. Is that a Legends character? I'm not up with my Legends characters. Trust that's him. Mmm. Wow, a couple of people saying this. Yeah, I, I'm like, that's him. I'm set. 
<laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! <laughs> wait! Wait, wait, wait has a force ghost. Force ghost. I always say it wrong. Force ghost. Whew. Oh, the flim, not film. Oh, thank God there's eight. You gave me a heart attack there for a second. Whew. So everyone came back uh, with Annie after Qui-Gon's death. He was knighted by Yoda in the Council for passing his trials. So clearly it's not always a standard trial based on circumstance. Yeah, good point. She really was a Jedi Knight by that point. By that point. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a, that's a great pun. No, I'm trying to catch up on all the Thrawn books right now. You know what else in chat? My good god. <sighs> Alright, gang. Well, I'm going to jump off. Start rec uh, Rewatch the episode. Well, edit a reaction. Rewatch the episode. Make a review video. Holy dooly, what a day it has been for Star Wars fans. Thank you so much for the 70 of you that are still here. We've been going for 2 hours and 42 minutes. My god, but the live shows and fun doesn't end here. Make sure you are back for Thursday night. We'll have an in-depth whiteboard comes out discussion about all the things that transpired tonight. We'll also, the next night on Friday night, uh, we'll be going live to, to watch this little excerpt of Master and Apprentice that is going to be dropping. Uh, we'll also be doing another couple live streams uh, throughout the week and weekend. Uh, I'm loving this world between world idea. You guys want to just a, literally just a single live show just talking about the world between the loads. I think that's going to be good because there's a lot to talk about it with it. Cooly. Dooly. That's all I got to say. All I got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. <sighs> what a day. What a day. Thank you so much for those who supered. And welcome to those who joined the race squad ranks today. So glad to have you on board. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you recover. Recover. Get some rest. Eat something. Go for a walk. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you. I'll see you all real soon. Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened. Thank you so much for hanging out. Make sure. Always choose the right side. Holy, holy shit, dude. I had a whole bag of party sized Cheetos. It's such a random. I like how you told, like, like confessed it to us. I like how you were confessing it. I had a whole bag of body size Cheetos. <laughs> oh my days. Right.